வணக்கம் வெல்கம் டு சாரன்ஸ் ஹோம் குக்கிங் ஐ கேன் டு ஒன் வெரி இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் டிஷ் டுடே இட்ஸ் வெரி ஒன்ஸ் ஃபேவரட் தந்தூரி சிக்கன் வென் யூ கோ டு இந்தியன் ரெஸ்டாரண்ட் யூ ஹேவ் அ டென் ஃபிஃப்டீன் டைப் ஆஃப் கபாப் தட் யூ மோஸ்ட் ஆஃப் தம் சூஸ் சிம்பிள் தந்தூரி சிக்கன் இட்ஸ் வெரி கொண்ட ப்ரிஃபர் ஸோ ஐ லேட் அவுட் த நெசசரி இன்க்ரீடியன்ஸ் ஃபார் தந்தூரி சிக்கன் ஐ சூஸ் த சிக்கன் ட்ராம்ஸ் யூ கேன் சூஸ் எனி பார்ட் ஆஃப் சிக்கன் தட்ஸ் நாட் அ ப்ராப்ளம் ஸோ வாட் யூ டூ வி நீட் டு ஸ்கோர் த சிக்கன் லதாக் யூ ஆர் நாட் கட்டிங் இட் you simply scoring it like this so you leaving the allowing the marination to go inside the chicken so that's the first step the next one we going to need a lemon chili coriander we chop the coriander we chop the chili we going to add them so when you buy coriander please do not throw the stem it has a more flavor than the leaves so that's chop them stem everything green chili same way do not take the seed away and we put lemon juice salt pepper we keep them 15 minutes separate what happen when you add salt lemon into it lot of water started coming out in the chicken so we don't want too much liquid marination later we going to take the chicken out from here we going to add it into the second marination at one the ingredients are here yogurt so ginger garlic paste so yogurt you all knows it got a lactic acid and um calcium it's break the meat fiber and it make the meat ultra tender and juicy then what we need is a little quantity of oil two spoon of oil turmeric powder garam masala coriander powder whole cumin seed that is the kashmiri chili powder this one we call kashmiri chili powder it's obviously you know it's grow on kashmir that's why it's called kashmiri chili powder it's very dark red in color and it got a very good flavor it's not too sharp too spicy so you can add extra of it no problem then uh, ginger garlic paste so you add a uh, 2 spoon of this one kashmiri chili powder 1 spoon of coriander powder 1 big spoon of garam masala 3/4 spoon of turmeric powder 1 spoon of uh, cumin seed and 50 g of ginger and garlic together and 50 g of yogurt is goes in the marination that one more special ingredients we call buna paste this maybe you might find something new into the one this is a very basic what we make a roux in the bechamel sauce or white sauce equal quantity of flour and butter cook them in a pan just for a minute this is acting as a binding agent it does the two things to the tandoori chicken you know tandoori you know, is like a pot like this the big pot like this and we have a charcoal underneath is like a barbecue you marinate this chicken or anything you skewer it and you place it in the pot so the heat is coming from the coal this binding agent what it does to the meat because we have lemon juice yogurt juicy meat the natural water content from the meat it's start to drip into the coal and it's going to put off the fire so this flour and butter mix it's going to stick the marination with the meat and the second thing sometime when you start releasing the juice from the meat and the spices you losing the flavor what you put into the meat so this one will help to stay with the meat that's why we add into this one next one we go into the marination use your hands to marinate so you are transferring your positive energy from your body to the chicken
we take all the chicken from the first marination into the different bowl so we don't want any liquid from the previous bowl then we add chopped chili and coriander into the bowl then we have all the spices and yogurt and we keep it ready to add into the marination so now we come to the adding spices so we start with the coriander powder we add a one spoon of coriander powder into the marination then is the turmeric powder we don't want a lot of turmeric because we don't want a uh, yellow color we use a kashmiri chili powder like a good two tablespoon of kashmiri chili powder and uh, the nice garam masala powder we add a one good tablespoon then we add that uh, buna paste as a thickening agent as i explained earlier we add a uh, two tablespoon of it then we add a uh, ginger garlic paste it's approximately 50 gram goes into the marination and also the yogurt the important one 50 gram goes into the marination then we're going to marinate with our hands i prefer my hands because i mentioned earlier we like to transfer your positive energy from your body to the food so it's the best transforming agents in your your body so you mix nicely just be, you see the marination is coming already very thick just because of the buna paste so we can yeah we can even little oil here a little bit but uh, anyway we have we spray the oil on the rack as well so you mix nicely make sure all the marination goes into the chicken so look at it. it's looking very nice already so almost is ready the marination it comes to the oven we'll have to make sure the oven is uh, preheated like a 220 degrees nice and hot so as soon as we place the chicken we should start cooking the process we don't want to start with the cold oven to release all the juice from the meat so now it's already nicely oil is applied on the chicken so when you take it out it'll come easily it doesn't stick with the meat so you arrange all the chicken on the grill not on the flat bottom layer always on the rack so the heat can come from the bottom heat can come from the top as well so the air circulate very nicely and even inside the oven so always in the middle rack you place the meat after 35 to 40 minutes look at our tandoori chicken it's looking very lovely and it's very nicely cooked there's a one small technique i can show you you see the skin is pulled up this side so that means it's ready 